morning everybody. We uh, currently are I'm butching with the excavator and we're skidding with the prime tech. Had trouble getting a uh, low boy for the skidder so we're waiting on that. Hopefully we'll have that by uh, the end of the day. But the project's doing it good right now just throwing a chain around it. There's a winch on the back of the prime so that it can do something for us here. can see this <laughs> it's a mess pretty much they they chipped three logging trucks worth the brush up top that wasn't too big a deal to skid bundle that but down here we're gonna grind it all up with the prime tech but first we gotta get all the logs out got a helper from the tree company he's down here bumping knots and remanufacturing some of these logs they just kind of took the easy stuff got her down quick skitter for like four years didn't use it sell it and you got a job right here we can use it on yeah even though skitters are completely awesome for covering a lot of distance quick with their big rubber tires and all that mess Still got to have somebody to bunch them so that you can be efficient with it because the skitter can't zigzag around up in here very quickly gathering up logs. It's not as fast as having another machine just to knock it out like this. So I could just get these all staged up. I put all these logs right here so that a guy can come over here and bump all the knots on it easily. Now I'm going to grab it get it down to the skid trail more. but it's a uh, like a 110 degree corner so it made this little trail right here and I'll just go straight back and set
had to fell these trees left a lot of knots. So, panicking. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Man, tight loading area here. Up here, they spent three weeks and chipped all this stuff. Brother. And they got three logging truck loads out of it. Oh, we're starting to spin. Gotta go meet a guy about moving a skitter right now, so you guys will be in for a treat. I'll say this much, brand new semi. I'll show you guys a glimpse of it, but we're leaving this job right now. And it's getting kind of cold. Let's turn the heat on. It's like made in the 70s. We just put new batteries in it yesterday. Yeah. It had started in like two months and just as soon as they hit the starter, it was running. Yeah, yeah it's ridiculous. That old mechanical thing. Yeah. That and like an old first gen. Yeah. I'll be honest, I would have put the ramps down for me. <laughs> Anyway, guys, look at this. this is Johnny's truck. God dang. It's a brand new Kenworth. It is kind of dirty up close driving by. It is freaking sweet. You guys ever break the neck? Yeah. To drive, to drive up on yeah. Road. We don't have the roll-off for it. I was wondering about that because... Yeah, because that, so, I mean, the fifth wheel plate has to have a roll-off, yeah. so we pretty much jacked it up, hook it up, and have it. <laughs> there you go. Come on, little car. Jeez, Grandma. No respect, Grandma. Come on. Anyway, moving the skitter finally up to the job. It's kind of difficult to get uh, low boy these days. It seems weird, but this is a uh, another tree company. He actually been following the channel for a little while, and uh, the guy's not much older than me. He owns that freaking semi. Good for him. Brand new Canworth, big Larry, big horsepower in it, and then uh, he modified or. Uh, refurbished that low boy trailer painted it his company color but I was talking to him the other day just talking about what we're working and stuff and I was trying to get a hold of the old places that used to haul our stuff and I completely forgot that this guy had his own low boy now and it is sweet holy mama he's got like the same pretty much arsenal of stuff that we got little skid steer mulcher He's got the new 309 cat excavator and he's got a disc cutter head on it. And uh, I think it's an 18 inch track chipper, among other things. Rotating grapple excavator. He's got some cool stuff. And oddly enough, like he's a super cool guy. We never had any battling for jobs. This guy is kind of under the radar, but in my opinion, I think he's kind of a big deal. <laughs> he's got some nice Nice equipment, that's for sure. But I was talking to him and I was like, hey, can you move this? And he's like, yeah, I can move it tomorrow. And I was like, what? So god dang, here we are. All struggling trying to get someone to move it. And, uh, I'll do a full video on his semi when we get more time. I wanted to ride up there with him in it, but he, uh, he's he got his one of his employees is with him. So I'll give you guys a follow behind him. 
I can pull this hill at uh, 45 mile an hour the whole way up with 5,500. Grossing about 41,000 pounds. Let's see how much he pulls this hill at. That's fourth gear at like 2,500 RPM. Just, or yeah, just singing away. I'm pretty jealous of that freaking setup. I don't get jealous of very much anything, but that setup he's got. Good job, Johnny. That is freaking killer. I'll catch up with you guys as we get to the bigger parts of the hill. He's currently doing 49 mile an hour right now. Still doing 49. Comment below your guesses on if he holds 49 all the way up the hill. Oh, he's doing 50 now. Showing me. Well, he did about uh, 35, 40 mile an hour. I gotta show him where the job's at. Then Andy's coming out. Just got a load of logs. Felt like that front end was walking downhill a little bit. Yeah, I thought it was a little slanted. Yeah. I was I like... I that these older trailers, they got the bigger tires, like the new ones got those... The, I think they're like what you have on your trailer, 17s. Oh, really? Yeah, so they're a lot lower. Oh, yeah, that's a good point, huh? Yeah, because that's still like a... Yeah, you're, like excavators is pretty sketch. Some, like if it's slanted, it's okay. sketch. Oh. Especially if your tracks are muddy. So, when you were thinking of buying this setup, what were your thoughts about a tilt deck? You just... I just like, because we rent like a size 320. Yeah. And, um... How much does that weigh? Like 60,000. Oh, shit. And a th like a 314 <laughs> is, uh, it's about 35,000, and it just fits on there really good. Oh, okay. But, so, I mean, the nice thing about this is we can, we can pretty much haul. I don't want to put much more than 60 on it. That's a pretty good load. Yeah. 60, I think. So this thing, you didn't even give a crap. No, that... Did you a, downshift coming up that hill? Oh, uh, yeah, I had to go into uh, seventh gear. What'd you start in? Uh, we, we, were, we were in eight, the eighth hole coming up. Yeah? Yeah, we were going 55 and just had to downshift once. It seemed like it, it held pretty good. I think this thing's... Yeah, we're all good back here. Dad's running skitter man job today did some earlier while he was mulching I got uh, one groundy there helping and then there he is he's down there <laughs> they brought the dingo so they're, they're using the dingo gathering up some stuff so I don't have to waste so much time chasing little branches I just use a little rig pretty good little drag gotta go right between a <laughs> extremely large house and uh tree up there so you get carried away we'll oh. tighter up for down
drag down there and get that for two big fat ones. This outfit's job. I don't know if I got any footage or photos of what this looked like down here before. But we've hauled out, I don't know, four or five logging truck loads and ground up all the brush. It was just crisscross, nightmare looking mess. And uh, started off like you guys saw, we used the Prime Tech for the skidding. That's, that got her done. But it's weird how much faster this is. Like it's incredibly fast. <laughs> Even having to set chokers. You guys didn't know we had a grapple skidder and this one. Never used either one of them. And somebody uh, was interested in buying the grapple skidder. Sold that over the summertime. It would have been nice here, but for the amount that this skidder gets used, there's no point in having two of them. And this one's the nicer skidder out of the two. Brand new thread tires on it right there. Good meats. Yeah, tires on that thing cost more than the thing. <laughs> kind of funny how that works. But she's good. She's making her moves right here. But we, uh, Dad's been mulching Prime Tech all day and he lost a track pad, so I got the metal detector out. He's got a hunch of where he thought he lost it at, but thankfully it didn't go through the mulcher head. Because even the Prime Tech savage niche, savage -ness, I don't think it would really like going over track pad. But where you're skidding from is way down there. You can't even see the excavator. I'm down there bunching with the excavator, rotator gravel getting her. Oh, it's that time of the day. Thirst quencher time. Back in the day before dad started logging for himself and doing his own business, fellow he used to work for he was just a solid timber faller and he actually came through here as about i think they guessed it like 20 years ago he came in here and logged this that fell a bunch of trees back then and he said it looked like what it looks like now pretty thin but 20 years they all grew back up and she was nice and thick so these got the luxury of the sun in our face apologies we'll go back down here and turn around but some of the areas the guys, again, this isn't our job. We're just doing the, uh, the hard part, I guess, is the cleanup. So they just fall on trees whatever way they leaned. And Dad and I do a job. It's, you know, there's always a machine here that can push it, give a little encouragement. So coming here, you know, they don't have a machine to come down. They got that little dingo, but that, you know, doesn't get in every spot. They actually got down in here, no problem with the dingo, which is crazy for me to believe but so all these logs you can see down in the trail we already took up four or five drags filming with my phone right now i didn't really honestly expect to film too much here because there's so much going on if i'm filming by myself that's super easy because i go at my own pace but um with dad he's kind of you know he allows it me to hop out and move the camera around but then a couple other guys running around we just we're, we're getting stuff kind of done so i didn't feel like being a nuisance to the whole crew here but anyway so dragging all this stuff downhill is so much easier obviously gravity helping you out get it all bunched down here and not having the grapple skidder i just leave the butts kind of high i'll slide these down a little bit more so they don't scuff up these other little trees or i'll put a pile of brush underneath the tips of them get all these bunched and then got this convenient old skid trail been so long since they were in here the water bars kind of started to erode like you can't really quite tell they're there so it's been a minute some pretty nasty stuff these two i can lift about five thousand pounds pretty comfortably with the 080 uh seven thousand pounds like right up against it but that one there it didn't want to lift it that bottom sucker this other one it wasn't bad but those two you see all that pitch nasty pine Ugh. i hate pine trees a lot of fur in here there's not too many pines left i guess there's a couple over there but man Ugh. 
thinning out for fire danger. And Emma is bigger than Boone. <laughs> and she like to have that kind of energy. Just, oh, goat trail through the woods, down the hill. Then turn back around and burn back up the hill, no problem. <laughs> I ran up the hill trying to film that for you guys earlier. Oh, that killed me. Anyway, signing off for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hit them buttons. Just another, I call this a, a logger wade style. If logger wade watches this, comment, old son. I'd like to hang out with you someday. That'd be cool. Anyway, dogs are gone. Later, guys. Well, walked around long enough that my soda went flat. But I found it. I got it. I kicked it a little bit. Lovely. Got lucky it didn't go through the mulcher head. Mulcher head costs as much as a new pickup, so hitting damage in that thing is pretty much. Let's see if it's bent. Look at it. Oh, yeah. That's probably what. Hang on. Oh, yeah, right there. Yep, she got a nice little. How you doing? We found one of the bolts or the nuts right down the trail a little bit from it and just kind of been working a pattern. Metal detector discovered that little gem. Oh. That went through. Yeah, so, oh, my bad. So, this was about Ching -ching. an hour. Yeah, you lost that a long time ago. That's where it is. Got Hit there. Hit there. Got the bottom side. Flipped it over. I might have went over a couple times. Hit there. The teeth looked good though, huh? Yeah, you couldn't really tell. Carbides look fine. They're all dirty, so I mean, unless you took a pressure washer to it, you can't really tell. But I didn't see any chunks. I guess was, could look on the left side more than the overall. A, yeah. Was that on the surface? Mm-mm. You could see where it was sitting. That's where it carved out. So it was about three inches underneath. Hey, Emma. <laughs> She's here for the celebration. Oh, oh, Mr. Growler. Come on, Boone. All right, anyway, guys, we'll see you later. We found the crack pad.